Today we are creating this melted ice cream makeup tutorial, including real sprinkles and an ice cream cone. So if you want to know how you can create a makeup just like this one, please keep watching because I will go through it step by step in the coming video. So an ice cream cone seemed like kind of a fitting look for me to do with Carnival, as I am very fond of ice cream. I thought it would be fun to create an ice cream cone on my own skin. So this is the Benai Eyebrow Pencil in white and I'm going to use it to sketch out my ice cream cone for today. So this is basically just a face painting tutorial and as you all know face painting is not my strong point. but I. I think I can manage this one. So it will be a four layered ice cream cone. Now the basic shapes are on the skin. I'm going to color them. The first color I'm going to use is light pink. This is a color by Meron Paradise. I'm just going to paint the top layer in the light pink color. I will be wearing a wig at the end of this tutorial. So I'm just going to paint a bit of my hair pink as well. And my second layer will be white. I'm using the white by Diamond FX. The next layer will be purple and this is La La Land. This is a color by Superstar. And finally a light blue. This one is by Superstar. It is number 116 and it is perfect for my ice cream makeup of today. So I will just put it down here. So as you can see this is a very sweet colored makeup. You could recreate it in this color or if you celebrate carnival in the Netherlands you could make it in the colors of your town. I know that every town has its own colors. That is the base of my ice cream makeup. To start putting some shadows in, I have the cool glam palette by Ben Nye once again. And this time I'm going to use this color. It is called Cacao Brown. And I will start putting some shadows on the skin part of this makeup. So the Ben Nye powders are highly pigmented. That is something to think about when you put them on the skin. So I will just put a shadow on all the deepest parts of the ice cream. Whoops, I forgot two spots of blue on my skin. And obviously they need a small shadow as well. That is the shadow for the skin tone. To put the shadows in the rest of the makeup I have the rainbow palette which is by Benai as well. I'm gonna put the blue on the blue bit of ice cream. And purple for the purple bits. And a bit of grey for the white area. And obviously some pink on the pink area. I'm sorry, these are highlights I'm putting in with white powder, still from the Rainbow Palette by Ben Nye. So there will be a bit of white face paint on there as well. But I thought that I would start out the highlighting with a bit of the powders. 
because if you put a shadow in you need to put a highlight next to it I'm going back over those shadows I have black on my brush so I do want to be gentle I just want to create a bit more depth around those edges and I am trying not to block view doing the same with the dark blue and the black as well I have some black face paint on my brush and I just want to test this one time for the colored contacts I chose a purple contact lens and a blue one for today because this side of my face is purple and the other side is blue of course so I'm quickly gonna put some eyeshadow powder around my eyes and color my waterline black just to make my eyes pop a bit more from this makeup so a bit of blue eyeshadow powder around this eye not too much just a little bit So I'm kind of going all over the place, I'm sorry for that. I have the pink lipstick again, it is the same color as I put on my forehead to color my lips pink. I think it's time to put the wig on and I have a lovely pink one. I am gonna add some sprinkles to the makeup so these are just ice cream sprinkles or baking sprinkles i honestly don't know but i'm gonna glue them to my skin using the glitter glue by ben nye so this is the glitter glue and i'm just gonna put a bit here and there to add sprinkles to them so i kind of have some heavy sprinkles don't yet know if the glitter glue will hold them um, but i'm gonna test so I will put the glue on and just let it dry and then in a bit if I still remember where I put it I can add the sprinkles to it so I have some hearts okay I'm changing my mind on these hearts I think the little sprinkles look way better then the big heart so i'm gonna reapply some of the glue and cover the holes that i just created in the makeup so there is a generous amount of glitter glue the final little bit of sprinkles it feels like they are everywhere so for this last bit, I'm going to have one go. I have an ice cream cone and I just put some Edge Jam by Meron on the cone and hopefully I will be able to stick this to my skin and let it stay there. So I will probably need to hold it until the glue has dried. Ooh, it's breaking all over the place. Yes! It actually worked so there is an ice cream cone on my head and the edge jam works brilliantly so with that all the sprinkles and the paint on my skin my melted ice cream makeup for today is done I had loads of fun creating this one I know I say that almost every week but it is true I love creating crazy makeups and this definitely is one of them so I hope you enjoyed it as well if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all our videos. We will be back this Wednesday with a new quick and easy face painting tutorial by Simone.